We've got some bad news if you're going through the immigration process and you're applying for visas like EB2 or EB3. As of now, the State Department announced that they're no longer issuing EB2 visas until the new fiscal year will start. I'll tell you what you have to do, why is this happening, and the implications as the new fiscal year starts in just a few weeks. So, let's jump right into the video. So the State Department announced just a few days ago that the EB2 annual limit has just been reached. What that means is that they're not going to issue any more immigrant visas. No consulate, no embassy is going to issue any immigrant visas until the fiscal year starts again on October 1st, 2024. But what does it mean for you if you're going through the immigration process, if you're applying for a green card? How will this impact your process? So let's talk about who is this going to impact. And I know a lot of you are watching this channel are going through the immigration process on the family-based side, but also you're applying for visas through employment, EB3, EB2, EB1 visas. Well, in this particular case, we focus on the announcement from the State Department as to what's happening with EB2 visas. Right now it's September as we are reaching the end of the fiscal year. So let's understand first, what is the EB2 visa category? The EB2 second preference category is reserved for workers who have an advanced degree or applying for a green card under the national interest waiver because they have exceptional abilities or they're doing something that will impact the United States nationwide. But just like with the EB3, EB2 categories are subject to a numerical cap and each year, only about 28% of the overall employment-based visas can be issued to the EB2 category. And this cap has now been reached, which means that embassies and consulate worldwide are not going to be issued visas in this category, which means applicants who are currently at the National Visa Center will remain there waiting until the new fiscal year starts and more visas will become available. Now, I know many of you are worried about your immigration process. So before we continue with the video and I'll tell you exactly what needs to happen and some predictions as we get closer to the end of the fiscal year, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. As always, if you need help with your immigration matters, send me a text to 619-483-4549 or go to www.immigrationasap.com leave your information and one of our team members will contact you ASAP. Now let's go back and understand what's going to happen moving forward as we end the fiscal year. If you're an employer, this means that hiring workers on the EB2 is currently on hold. If you're trying to make plans to bring new workers, you probably have to see what's going to happen after October 1st, 2024. But for now, you have to explain to your employees that visas are not available right now. So most likely they're not going to get any interviews until the end of the fiscal year. If you remember, last month, the EB3 category was also reached. Therefore, employers and employees in the EB3 category are not able to get visas at embassies and consulates at the moment. All this is going to change when the fiscal year will start in October 1st, 2024. It still remains to be seen how far ahead we'll be under that visa bulletin. So what can you actually do now that the EB2 category has been reached? Well, it's important to plan ahead. If you're an employee looking to get a job, it's important to start talking to employers right now. Educate them. Let them know that a new fiscal year is start in October 1st, 2024, and most likely new visas will become available. The EB2 category will become current at some point, and at that point, you'll be able to get your visa. So if you're going to start planning this now, you need to be able to do the perm labor certification and all the other things that you need to do before you even have to worry about your priority date. So if you're trying to get your employer to do your green card, let them know. It's okay. The EB2 has been reached, but a new fiscal year will start. And by the time I'm going to finish my process, which is perm and doing all the advertising, I'll be able to get my immigration visa started. If you're applying for a self petition like an EB2 national interest waiver, that's fine file for your I-140, get it approved, and then find a way to wait for the priority date either inside the United States on an alternative visa like an O-1 or a student visa, or if you're in your home country, that's fine. You wait in your home country 
until the visa bulletin becomes current. Many of our viewers are overseas, waiting for the priority date to become current. But in the meantime, they already went through the process of applying for the I-140 immigrant visa, got that approved, that process may have taken six months, sometimes eight months, and now all we have to do is just wait for that priority date. So don't get discouraged. Try to plan your immigration process way in advance. And so once you get your immigrant visa approved, all you have to do is at that point, wait for that priority date to become current, and then you'll be able to proceed with an embassy interview and finally get that immigrant visa in your passport and make a plan to come back to the United States. Once again, guys, once we have that information, we always pass it back to you. So it's very important for you to subscribe to our channel, leave me a comment, let me know what else you wanna know about the EB2, EB3, and any other categories. And if you're worried about your visa interview, send me a text, 619-483-4549. I'm here to help you get through that immigration process and make it safe to the United States. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.